Yo, what is up, YouTube? Lee the Captain here, and I believe that the native token of Wax, called Wax P, will shock the world during the next bull run, and hypothetically at least go to the price of three dollars. And now, of course, that's all financial advice, but I do believe that once Wax P hypothetically does reach the price of three dollars, I think at that point, all of those Wax haters are gonna be coming running over to their girlfriend's boyfriend's grandma, and they're gonna be begging for that used vibrator. And here are the reasons why I think so. You know, first of all, I think that Wax is very special. Wax is a purpose-built blockchain that was designed to help make e-commerce transactions faster, easier, and safer. The Wax blockchain utilizes a delegated proof-of-stake consensus mechanism, and it's even backwards compatible with EOS as well. Wax so far has created various blockchain-based tools upon which decentralized applications, marketplaces, and NFTs can be built. As a matter of fact, according to Wax themselves, they claim that they are the most proven Web3 ecosystem for gaming and NFTs. Which I don't disagree with, by the way, because I think Wax is that fantastic. And it even has the statistics to back it up. If we take a look at this, as of right now, Wax is able to facilitate 23 million daily transactions. And what this means is that Wax executes more transactions and NFT drops than any other protocol. Absolutely insane. Furthermore, Wax has over 700,000 active daily users, making them the largest, that's what she said, and most active gaming community of any blockchain. In addition, Wax is home to more top 10 blockchain games than anyone else, which I find very impressive. You know, I think truly Wax speaks for itself. So for the Wax haters out there that likes to say, you know, Wax is done, Wax is caca, they like to say that Wax sucks. That's completely not true. The numbers don't lie. You know, a Wax hater's ex-girlfriend may lie. They may lie about not hanging out with that Chad, even though she probably did a bunch of times. But yeah, you know, besides that point, the Wax figures don't lie and they show how Wax is doing absolutely insane. And here's the thing, I believe that Wax is clearly focused on the right markets. And why do I say that? Because First of all, I think that the future of blockchain gaming is absolutely unbelievable. For instance, if we take a look at this, according to Grandview Research, the blockchain gaming market is expected to be worth over $300 billion over the next seven years, a very insane amount. Furthermore, as we all know, WAX is also heavily focused on NFTs. And also according to Grandview Research, the NFT market is expected to be worth over $211 billion over the next seven years. So really, when you think about that, the future potential of NFTs and blockchain gaming, it's no joke. So I think Wax understands where a lot of the potential is at, and I think they're clearly focused on the right markets. I think they're focused on the right things. And personally, in my opinion, I think that a major catalyst, which could very well allow Wax P, the native token of Wax, to hypothetically attain the price of $3 during the next bull run, is the fact that I do think that the next bull run could look absolutely insane. And my rationale is this, currently there is more people than ever before in history owning cryptos. And that's actually not a joke. Currently there's over 420 million people owning cryptocurrencies. I mean, just imagine that, right? Keep in mind, back in 2021, during that insane bull run, there was actually only around 300 million people owning cryptos. So that's over 120 million less than what we have right now. So you gotta imagine what the next bull run will look like, especially now that we have this many people owning cryptocurrencies. I mean, man. During the next bull run, I think when you have this many people owning cryptocurrencies, the FOMO, buying pressure, buying volume, all coin season, it could all look so ridiculous, even more ridiculous than Britney Spears lately. I really do believe it could be that insane. So when I take all of those positive factors into consideration, and when I consider just how amazing Wax is, I don't see why Wax P during the next bull run won't hypothetically at least go to the price of $3. At least that's the way I take a look at it. And of course, my strategy will always stay the same it is going to be dollar cost averaging. You know, I don't day trade, I don't swing trade, I don't use leverage. Personally, in my opinion, doing that type of nonsense creates a lot of unnecessary anxiety and stress. And who wants that, right? And that's why I like to keep it simple. I just slowly but surely dollar cost average. You know, I'm ignoring the short to medium term price movements and I'm just focused on accumulation. And by slowly but surely dollar cost averaging, I believe that I am preparing myself for the next bull run in such a fantastic way. I wouldn't be surprised whatsoever if Wax P during the next bull run did hypothetically at least go to the price of $3 and during the process make all of those Wax haters come running over to that Britney Spears fan club with that used vibrator that they just got after begging 
from their girlfriend's boyfriend's grandma. You know, going to be a little bit embarrassing if you ask me. And of course, that's all financial advice or even vibrator advice. But I'm extremely bullish on wax. I think wax pee will shock the world during the next bull run. And if you want to check out a very interesting video, make sure to go ahead and click on this thumbnail right here. It's a very fantastic video. And I think you all would really love it. It's been Lee the Captain, or should I say Lee El Capitan? And I'll catch you all on the next one. I'm out. Peace, boy.